Hey there, Leslie Nicole with French Kiss Textures. Today I want to show you how to colorize a black and white texture using Photoshop's color overlay layer style. And I'll be demonstrating with my new Summer Color Wash mini texture set. Okay, in the set I have four color variations, a light sepia, summery pink, green apple, and sunshine yellow. And then I've included a black and white master for you to create your own colors. And you may be wondering, well, how do I use this black and white texture to create my own colors like this? That's what we're going to do today. Now, this technique will work with any image. And if your image is black and white, you want to make sure that it's set to color since we're going to be applying a color overlay. So go up here to image mode and if it's not already in RGB, then change it. I've already changed this one. Okay, so we can ex we can access the color overlay from the FX button down here in the layer panel, but as you can see, it's not letting me do that. That's because we can only apply a layer style to an actual layer, and right now our image is a background. So we want to change the background to a layer by double-clicking the background um, this new layer dialog box pops up and you can rename it if you want. I'm just going to hit OK and as you can see now that FX is available to me. I'm going to select Color Overlay. And when the dialog box first comes up it turns black and normal but we're going to change the blend mode to Overlay and then click on the black color swatch and we can choose another color. I'm going to go up here to the blues. Let's try to do a blue texture. And I do have preview checked in my box so I can see the changes. And then it's just a matter of kind of playing around and getting the tone that you want. You can also use a slider to get a different tone. I kind of liked that aquamarine color. Looks good. Hit OK. And you can also change the opacity here if you want a little more of that black and white image to show through. Let me really bring this back so you can see it. You see how the blue's fading out? I want this one set at 100%. So I'm going to hit OK. Now if you want to change that color all you do is come back over here to the layer panel and double click that color overlay and this box comes up again and you can change a different color. Okay, a couple more tips on modifying this color. Now I found when I use the color overlay I have a hard time getting sometimes a saturated enough color without it going too murky. So this is what I like to do. You can duplicate the layer, okay, change that duplicated layer to multiply, and this will bump the saturation way up. And you can change the opacity of that duplicated layer as well, okay, or you could also add a levels adjustment layer and increase the darks. Now the difference between these two methods that I find is that using levels increases the contrast. It does give you a more saturated image but it also gives you contrast whereas the duplicated layer I think gives you more saturation with less contrast. Okay, I've paused the recording and went ahead and made a layer mask for this image. And I think I'm going to bring down the opacity a little bit on the color overlay. And there you go. From a black and white texture, I now have a light, summery, aqua colored color wash. Okay, I want to leave you with one final bonus tip. You can also apply a gradient overlay. 
I'm going to turn off this layer and just turn on a black and white copy. I've already set it to multiply. Now you want to make sure you have colors set in your foreground and background colors. I put a blue and a green here. Go back down here to the um, Layer Styles button again. Select Gradient Overlay. Let's go ahead and put the Blend Mode to Overlay. And then you want to, in the Gradient button here, you want to select your gradient. And I'm going to reverse this. If I wanted to, I could also change the opacity here. I'm going to put it down to 85%. You could change the angle and all that stuff as well too, but I'm going to leave it like that. Hit OK. And that's pretty cool. I like that. Let me drag the layer mask from the other layer and see how that looks. All right, great. Well, that's a great way to colorize your black and white textures. Have fun, and I hope to see your creation soon.